Hey everyone, welcome back to another video here at Power Apps Academy. My name is Barry. Today we are going to be talking about uh, the date function and how we can use a date picker and um, from the date we select in the date picker we can uh, populate a number of labels with say the whole week's date. So if we pick like Wednesday, you know, some date uh, whatever we've select there, it will automatically work out what the date is on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, and uh, put those dates in a box. We'll also work out what number, uh, what the week number of that year is. Say it's like you know week forty-five or whatever, uh, and then we'll also create the string and go. This is uh, this this uh, all the headings of of this week. Uh, are from this date to this date. So just some uh, guidance on how to work with dates and the date picker might help you with uh, things that you need to, your apps where you need to select a date and fill out some boxes with some other dates that relate to that date. So just hopefully some food for thought. Okay, uh, so before we go into it, I just want to hop over to our partner over at Power Appify. Do hit them up to have a look at all their business power apps, business templates over there. Really reasonable prices, and you can use them to either teach yourself power apps, or you can install the templates, uh, customize them for your business, and start using them. So uh, do hop over there and check them out. Okay, without further ado, we're going to hop over to our demonstration screen. Right. So this is our demo screen. Um, I'm going to use an app template that I have over here. So this is a general um, screen with all the pre-configured headings in there. If you want a, uh, a copy of this template, you can head over to Power Appify and download it so you can start building your apps uh, within a, a sort of well-branded um, formation or setup. Um, but anyway, I've created a new screen called Date Functions. And what we are going to do is we're going to add in a date picker first of all. So we just hit on insert. We can type in date picker. We can put that over there. So that allows us to select a date. If I just hold an alt, you can see it brings up the date. So I can select any date. Um, we also want some text, uh, sorry, some text labels. That's right, text labels, just so we can have the uh, output of what we're trying to do. Uh, printed somewhere on the screen. I'm just going to make a few copies of that. Control C, Control V, just to. Oops, sorry, I also need to change the color because I've got a black background. You won't be able to see it. So let's make these orange. Uh, make this one orange as well. Um, and then we'll create some below that. I'm just going to Control C, Control V. Oops, that didn't work. Control C, Control V, there we go. Right, now I'm going to make some ones below that, just make them a little bit smaller because we're going to have dates put in. So we'll make that, let's just change the color, make that blue. Cool, so we want, oh, let me just center that as well. Okay, so we want, um, I'm just going to Control C, Control 1, Control V to paste again. V, 1, two, three, four, five, six, seven days in a week. Let's just put these, spread these out quickly. Four, uh, four. I think I've got too many. Five, six, uh, one more at the end. Seven. Cool. So we're going to um, put our dates in there. That's going to be Monday to Friday. Um, so basically what we're going to do is we're going to select a date in here. And then that's going to go, uh, it's going to populate Monday to Friday with whatever date the Monday is, the Tuesday is, and so forth to the Friday, depending on what date it is over here. And in here we're going to put the strings. So we're going to say start of the week is this date to the end of the week is that date. And in here we're going to put the week number. So I just want to get these spaced out nicely. I'm just going to, there we go. I'm not going to get 100%, but just semi nice. So it's not too bad. There we go. That should do. Um, 
let's just put that over there, that over there. Okay, I think we're almost ready to start. Uh, we just need to make the text a little bit smaller. So if I hold in control, we can select multiple boxes. Let's make that 11. Uh, let's make these two 11 as well. Uh, 11. There we go. Cool. All right. So we've got all our boxes set up. Now we just want to set up some variables. Okay. So um, with our variables, we want to go uh, when we select a date in here. So when we click here and we select a date, when we select a date, um, that causes this property over here. Uh, it says on change. So whenever I select a date, that value will change and then it will execute this code. So for this um, on select property, that's what it does. Okay, so let's just see. We want to set up um, some some variables. So uh, to set the variable, we use the set command uh, and then the variable name. So we're going to call this var. I always sort my variables with var underscore just so I know. Um, that's a variable selected week start. Okay, that's what the variable name is. And then um, what what is it going to be? We're going to use the date add function. Okay, and then we're going to select our date picker, which is the this box over here. We haven't named it; we've just left it by default. So date picker one dot uh, selected date. I'm going to choose whatever the date is selected in there. And then we're going to say add one day and then uh, we're going to work out the day at the beginning start of the week and to do that we put a little minus sign and then we go week day uh, I'm sorry uh, weekday because we want to select we want the day the week the start day to be Monday okay that's what we're doing here so we go date picker again dot selected date uh, comma start of week so we want the start of the week to be Monday so start of week dot Monday okay and then we want um, our time unit time unit to be days okay and then we've just got to close off the brackets I think it's two and uh, is that what have I done wrong here? Uh, week, oh, spelling mistake. Weekday. Cool. All right. So that sets our start of week. We also want to set uh, our last day of the week. So our start of the week is going to be Monday. So you can see here it adds in whatever date plus one minus the week uh, number of uh, days in the week till Monday. And that will give us our start date. I'll show you how that works in a minute. And then we want our end of the week date. So it's going to be very similar. So let's just copy that so we don't have to waste too much time typing it all out again. So let's just copy that. Paste it in here. So we want to be um, the end of week uh, is going to be seven days. So, and that's also going to stay the same as Monday. All right, so let's see. Uh, we need to change it first. We need to um, make a change in there for the variables to take their, their settings. But we also want to have a variable that uh, just for display's sake, we want to set another variable var um, uh, selected um, week start to end. Okay. And then we want that the the first uh, part of that string to be var uh, selected week start, which is our existing variable that we created up at the top. And then we want to um, add in a dash or a hyphen there. And then we want also to show the var the other variable that we created uh, selected week end. Uh, selected week. Ah, sorry, I didn't change that to end. Okay, uh, selected 
weekend. Cool. So um, when I'm using variables, I don't need to put any um, quotes around them or anything like that. It's just the variable on, on its own. But because I do want to display um, a hyphen, I use the, the and sign and then the hyphen. Then I end it off with, um, I think, what have I forgotten? Something, uh, maybe a bracket. There we go. All right, cool. So, um, so I've got all my variables in here. In this text box, instead of the text, I just want to put the var um, selected week start to end in there. Um, so let's just check if that works before we carry on. Okay, so I just push play on there. I go in here, I can select any date. There we go. So we've got the 21st, just let, make sure that works. That's saying it's from the 18th to the 24th. Let's go. So you can see it starts on Monday and it goes to the 24th on Sunday. Okay, so that is our start and the end of week. And I can select any week and go back, you know, go back to 2023. Let's say the 7th, you can see it starts on Monday, ends on the 10th, right? So Monday the 4th to the 10th of September, Monday the 4th to the 10th. Okay, so now we... We have that in play, and um, uh, this was going to be the week number. So um, this is another nifty function that we can use in here. Let's just go back to the development mode in here. Click in there. Uh, instead of text over there, we want um, say week, and then we want to add in. Uh, week number um, uh, and then depending on what so we select in our date picker dot selected date and this is really easy to do close that off there we go so that's you yeah, know these there's loads of these date functions built in so I'm just giving you a flavor they go a lot deeper and um, hopefully this will just gives you some food for thought and how you can use it. Obviously, there's a lot more documentation on it that you can look up. Um, okay, so uh, we want to map out Monday to Friday. So let's start off here by clicking on on this. Right, so we want this to be Monday. Um, Monday. And we'll put in here and to add in text, we want date add, um, we want date picker. It's very similar to the variables that we created. Uh, date picker dot selected date, um, comma, because this is Monday, we want to add one. And then we do exactly like we did in the variable that we created earlier on. Go weekday. Okay, uh, open date picker dot selected date. Okay, comma start of week Monday. Yes. Dot time unit in days. Oh, something is not, sorry, going to be a comma. Time unit dot days, we want it in days. Close that off, and then we also want to, um, I live in the UK, so we want it in day, month, year format. You could put it in month, day, year format if you're in the US and so forth, or if you want a longer year, you could put uh, four, four Ys, but I just want two. Okay, and that allows me to format. There we go, we have Monday. Now, how do we get Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday? Very simple, let's just copy this. Control C, and we're going to here, go back into the text box over here, Control V, change this to Tuesday, and then we just add this from, change this from one to two. Okay, there we go, Tuesday the fifth. And so forth, all the way till Friday. So this is going to be three. 
This one is going to be four. Oh, let's not forget to change these to Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Friday, five, Saturday. Saturday six. Don't forget guys, if you get any value from this video, really appreciate it if you smash up the likes button and do subscribe to our channel. It really helps us out if you um, support us. So really would appreciate it if you subscribe and, and smash up that like button. And we go finally Sunday. What are we here? Yeah, seven, seven days in a week. Cool. So we've got four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Week 36, here's our string. I'm gonna make that the same as the others, put it in the middle. Right, cool. And then uh, let's just play that through, make sure it works like we expect. So if we go down to say June, um, uh, the eighth, we could pick you know Friday the 9th, and that's gonna be from the 5th to the 11th. Let's just check that works. 9th from the 5th to the 11th, 5th, 6th, 7th, 8th, 9th, 10th, 11th. That's the 23rd week of the year. And that's it. I hope you found uh, that useful and uh, you can take that away and start thinking how you can use that in your app. I use it in my timesheet app, but uh, you could use it in any other app where you want to start using dates. So thanks for tuning in and we hope to see you again soon. All the best.